On Game Show Network, anyone can win terrific prizes like this. Decorating is easy with Village. Transform your home with coordinating wallpaper, wall border, and decorative accessories for the home. Exclusively from Village. So register now to play any of our interactive games. Call 1-800-537-GAME. It's fast, it's fun, and it's free. Just register once, and you can play forever on Game Show Network. You're watching Game Show Network. This is Joe Girard of Detroit, Michigan. If you want to find out what he does for a living, you can turn to page 247 in the Guinness Book of World Records, or you can stay with us as we all play What's My Line? And now, let's meet this week's panel, Soupy Sales. Hello, all by that Hello. is a sensational goodie that you got on there, Arlene. What is that? Thank you. It's uh, just gold sequin jacket. Oh, uh, is that all it is? That's all it is. Well, Handmade. it's so terrific that everybody's going to be blinded. So before we do our first spot, why don't you all put on your blindfold? <laughs> and it'll make it easier. Yeah. Well, you have to put them on, and okay, you'll understand okay. why almost instanter when you take them off. Okay. You ready? Okay, with our first challenger, enter and sign in, please. John Bentham. You see, panel, if you could see Mr. Bentham in the outfit he's wearing, you'd know what he does. So... Just to be sure, we'll remind the audience what his line is, in case anybody out there might forget. <laughs> and let's start with Anita Gillette. Uh, this is something that you're wearing that would clue us in, is that right? Yes, it would. Uh, it has nothing to do with your physicality. No. All right. <laughs> uh, this uh, outfit, is it... Um, May we assume it's not an ethnic outfit? Yes, you may assume that. Uh, it, is, it, um, is it something that uh, if, if, another per if anybody would have it on, we'd, uh, well, we'd just know what it is, right? Possibly. Possibly. I mean, it's not like a bagpiper's outfit or something uh, like that. No, it's right. not. Uh, so, um, That's hard to answer, Anita. Uh, I mean... It's not quite like that, but it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Well, not quite uh, like I that. I see. Uh, is this, a, is this outfit that you're wearing, is it um, associated with uh, a particular occupation? It is, indeed. Is it uh, something, this occupation, that does not require a, a lot, great deal of, of uh, education? Well, I'd like to think otherwise. One like down and nine to go, Henry. Um, I was w wondering about, if, could, would you ever call what you're wearing, in contradistinction to what other terminology we could use, would you call it a costume? No, I would not. Two down, eight to go, Arlene. Ah, uh, not really a costume. Uh, you wouldn't be dressed in something that, or would you be dressed in something that might be seen in an ad? Uh... Sometimes, infrequently. So infrequently, Arlene, that quite probably you would not have seen it. So let's <laughs> say three down and seven to go soupy. But we are looking for what he does? That's right. It's called What's My Line? <laughs> it's a good title for a show. Uh, <laughs> if we saw you, we, would we recognize you, John? I, I think you would, sir. Do, do, you, is, do you represent a product that is edible? Uh, no, sir. 
Four down and six to go and either. Nobody ever said there was a product the, involved yet. I think I'm going to well, go for the occupation. Right. Is this occupation something that you use your, your hands for? Yes, it is, partly. Uh, do you use any equipment when you're doing this? Uh, often. Often. Uh, is it something that um, um, that is large? Sometimes. I mean, do you work on, uh, do, you, do you work with uh, any sort of moving vehicle? Yes, we do. Uh, is it something that, is, is it in the air? Uh, a part of it. I tell you, everybody is so far away wait, wait a and minute. time is running wait. out that I'll just ask if anybody has a notion. I do. What is it? Is it like a, a diving suit? No, it isn't even similar to that. This gentleman, okay. yeah. John Benson, is a Royal Canadian Mounted Policeman. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he is Inspector Benson of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Well, this is not the working uniform. No, right? it's, uh, no it's not. Right. I was up uh, in Dawson City in the Yukon Territory at one time, and uh, there were a lot of Mounties around at that time uh, during a festival up there. And I know that this is the dress uniform. That's right. It's, it's worn on ceremonial occasions, and I think that this is certainly a ceremony. So that's <laughs> well, we like to think of it as a ceremonial occasion. Do you have any women on the force in Canada? Yes, yes we do. Uh, there is a troop in training at this time, and they will complete their training just in the new year. I know in the beginning that the Mounties were begun as an organization to protect the people who were settling the land. And part of the job was to go out, and if a guy was building a cabin, you sort of helped him build a cabin. Uh, many, it was a very broad spectrum of duties, uh, particularly in the early uh, early days, and I like to think that we still extend that service. Do you still do that kind of thing? I think so. In the what do you do community. mainly now? Well, a, a, of course, the broad spectrum of, of uh, our duties involves the, the federal uh, enforcement, uh, also provincial and, in some cases, municipal, like city police work. Do you work on horseback? Yeah, it's not a functional instrument, as you would think of the New York City police, but we use them uh, as the musical ride, which you may have heard of, which performs around the world. Before he leaves, I must tell you that by regulation, Inspector Bentham will donate his winnings to charity. Thank you very much for being with us on this morning. We'll be back with more of What's My Line after this message. Air is dust so thick it's everywhere. You need Static Duster, the incredible cleaning sensation that cuts your cleaning time in half. Just charge Static Duster on any TV screen. To order Static Duster for only $14.95 plus shipping, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-843-3773 or send check or money order to Static Duster, 8 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. Sorry, no CODs. Larry Black. Okay, we're back, and it's time for our next challenger to enter and sign in, please. Joe Girard. Where are you from? Detroit, Michigan. All right, panel, on page 247 of the current Guinness Book of World Records, Joe Girard is listed as the best in the world at his occupation. We will show the audience what his line is. <laughs> and let's begin with Arlene first. Well, Mr. Gerard, you seem like a very stylish fellow. Does your job require a certain amount of uh, physical presence? Have, is the yes. record that you... Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, do you indeed do something physical? in order to be in the Guinness Book of Records. Yes, I do. Well, uh, how do you mean? Could you define it more? Well, does he more. use his hands, his arms, his legs? His... Yes, he does. I use my hands. Okay. You can go as far as you like, Mr. Gerard. Oh. <laughs> That's uh, an offer you may well let <laughs> I'll let Soupy guess that one. <laughs> Are you, um, uh, is it because of endurance that you have won this? Uh... No. One down, nine to go, Supi. I never met a man I didn't like that came from Detroit. That's a great place. Uh, Joe, what you do, you say, is, is, you, did you say it was a little physical, what you do? A little physical, yes. And you have the record of this 
There's right. some physical activity connected with almost anything you do, Soupy, even this. And in that sense, there is physical activity yeah. connected with it. Why? Is there, is it, can we rule out food and drink? Yes. Uh, when you do this, do you do, can you do it indoors as well as out, Joe? Either place. Uh, would it take place or you'd be more comfortable around a gym? No. Or around a hell of No, I'll give you this one uh, hint, panel. Uh, there is a product connected with what he does. Anita? Ah, good. Uh, this product, uh, well, I mean, I was just thinking, can I, I want to take a stab at this because right. of his personality. You seem like, like you would be a terrific salesman. I mean, does it have anything to do with selling? Yes. Uh, you sell something better or more than anybody else you're anybody. like the best salesman of something in the world in right the whole world okay now this something that you sell is and it I'm something great. that yeah I'll bet you are <laughs> uh is it something that both men and women can uh, use yes uh is it something that is uh, a large product yes like a car or something are you like yes. the best car salesman in the world that's it he is a world yeah. champion automobile salesman <laughs> Hanging out in California too long. I know him from television. Joe Girard is employed by Marola Chevrolet of East Detroit. What's the record? Last year was 1,425. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it eight, eight times in a row, eight years in a row. No man's ever held a title more than one time. This year will be my ninth time in the world. What's the greatest number you ever sold in one day? 18 cars. Wow. <laughs> How can you sell 18 cars in a day? You got a bicycle. Well, I, I'm... No, You're the best. I'm just the best. What do you do? To, you got a brown bag you carry around with you, right, right? Right, Will you show us how you use that? What do you yes. do? What is your technique? I've well, never here, heard of show you, huh? okay? Come on with me. Go with you? Come on with me. Oh. Now, I never go any place unless I take business cards with me. So why not work all the time? So when I go to a baseball game, I wait for somebody to hit a home run, and I go, wow! <laughs> <laughs> I go to a football game, and there's a touchdown. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I see. And here's some for the best. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, is that what makes you such a good... A good, a good salesman? That'd be something more. No, that's, that's, no, that's me, really. Yeah. I treat people good, and they like it. I treat people like they want to be treated. What's the toughest customer you have to handle? I hate to say it. Yeah. Uh, it's my people, the Italian people. They're the toughest people in the world to sell. Why is that? No matter what price you give them, they, they say, it's a too much. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what. No matter what price you give them. You I gave them. one away free one time. He says, that's still too much. You gave it away? Well, I tried. Now, you have a training film out, uh, film out trying to teach yeah, people how to Yeah, a training to film, right. It lasts two hours. I just made it in San Francisco. And it's going to be sold to dealers all over the world. And what's it all about by Joe Girard? And if anybody is interested, Box 358, East Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> well, listen. And you'll sell cars like you've never sold in your life. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you for being with me. Hey, Cookie, any more paste they can chuck? Fresh is that state, up to five day turn to Because five minutes can turn into 15. Any other liquid, so there's less for you to clean. Whatever you can dish out, Dawn can handle it. Dawn's the best at taking tough grease out of your way. You're watching Game Show Network. The brand new limited Anna postage stamps, certificate of authenticity, and display holder, all for $9.95. And when you act now, you'll also receive this stunning Princess Diana airmail stamp, an $8 value absolutely free. Call toll free now. Okay, we're back, and it's time now for the special feature of What's My Line, the appearance of our mystery guest. Are your blindfolds oh, no, no. available, panel? Uh, they yeah. are available. Now, yeah. are they all in place? Yeah. Yeah. Then, would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please?
Thank you. Okay, Thank panel, you. we'll go one question at a time. Face law prevails. You have about two minutes, and let's begin with Henry Morgan. You're in television, right? What? <laughs> You're in television, right? What does that mean, in? Yeah. Oh, I've never been in before. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, I guess it's uh, the beginning of the end. Arlene? Are you on a regular show? Well, no, but that's your loss. <laughs> I'm with <Super>. you. <laughs> uh, do you appear in nightclubs? Yeah. Anita? You're a comic, right? You betcha. <laughs> Henry? Sound more like a car salesman. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know where you can go. Well, it's not the first time it's been suggested. <laughs> Are you appearing in New York at the moment? Only here. Arlene? <laughs> With a voice like that, I hope you sing. <laughs> Very badly. Subi? Oh. Do you ever work with puppets? Oh. Oh, you. Go to heaven. <laughs> Is it Sherry Lewis? How did you do that? How did you do that? <laughs> See, it was nothing personal, Henry. It was this devil. Who's I'll, this person? I'll get you, Soupy. <laughs> Who you is want... this person? Hey, listen, you know, uh, that yeah. guy ran a car lot? I yeah. run a used soul lot. Do you really? Oh, yeah, I'm buying soul. Do you want to sell, Soupy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we don't normally get much for show business people. But if I could get Soupy, that would be the biggie. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you develop this new person? This new person? This new person's been around a long time, Buster. Let me put it another way, sir. Yes? Where'd you get this character on your neck? <laughs> well, actually, would you like to introduce yourself? It's about time. Go ahead. I'm Neville the Devil. Cousin of Evil Knievel. <laughs> now, is this new to your act? Am I new to your act? Yeah. Well, actually, Neville has played with me in Reno. Yeah. And in uh, Vegas. We just closed in Vegas. Yeah. And uh, I love him dearly. Well, now, how does is Lamb... Is that embarrassing? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. How does, uh, how does Lamb Chop and all the others, how do they react to him? Oh, oh, very nicely. Very nicely. Neville generally opens the act, and then the rest of them have to make do with what's left. Oh, my. What yeah. is, he a, is he? Are you a show hog? Is that what you do? You betcha. Are you going to have a new show with Sherry? No, not me. You want to talk to yourself? Can you be quiet for a moment? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be having a new show and a new radio show and a new TV series. That's exciting. Is yes. that going to start within the next year? September and okay. in Situation Comedy. That Situation Comedy? For the Saturday morning market. You know, the Saturday morning shows have improved a great deal. Yeah. And they're doing a great many live shows now where everybody had to be a cartoon in the past. Yeah. So since I'm a live person, I consider it a great improvement. And we'll be on. Well, you've run Saturday. for the old Charlie Lewis show. You won just about every prize you could win every year, didn't you? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I've also been very grateful to you. I always wanted to wow. direct, and the only person who had enough confidence to let me direct her was Sherry. You were super. You did four of our shows, and yeah. they were four of the funniest shows we did. Well, it was a joy. You weren't there, but maybe next time we'll meet. Next time, Buster. Happy oh, to meet please. you. Nice to meet you. Okay, bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for being with us on this morning. We'll be back with more of What's My Line after this message. Want whiter teeth in just... Hello? Morning, Daddy. Hi, honey. Ready for you? Brand. Ready now, Daddy? I'll give you two guesses. Kellogg's Raisin Bran will start you two soups ahead. Hi, I'm the game man. What's your name? Angie Kennedy. And you use liquid game, right? Yes, I do. Do you have any uh, anything you've washed in game? I am washing this very minute. Tell me what this looks like before you wash it in liquid game. It had juice. It had some mud. Are you confident enough to smell this with me on national television? Sure. Mmm, smells great. That's not just plain clean. That's game. Clean. That's game clean. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, my family for getting my clothes dirty. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
some thoughts on a really, really, really simple idea. You know how your period can start off really heavy and then end up kind of light? Oh, yeah. So I thought, why am I using only one kind of tampon? Only Tampax makes the different absorbencies I need. And puts them all in one box. Super for those heavy days. Regulars for the middle. And these great little lights. Way more comfortable on my light days. All in one. One. One box. The Tampax Multipack. Making periods more convenient. One box at a time. Tampax. Women know. When you have a kid, there is one word you always hear. More? More. Dad, she got more than me. More? And you can give them more with Jif. Because Creamy Jif hot roasts its peanuts to get more out of every one. Then seals them warm to bring you more fresh roasted peanut taste. More than any other leading creamy brand. They want more? I want more. Give them more. With Jif. With more fresh roasted peanut taste. Choose Jif. Choose Jif. You're watching Game Show Network. Don't miss the newlywed game with Bob Eubanks, followed by the dating game, then load up for Family Feud Challenge. We're back, and it's time for our next challenger to enter and sign in, please. Lorelei. Beauty Cat. Where are you from? New York City. Okay, panel, Lorelei Butin Kent is involved in research on a product. We'll show the audience what the product is. <laughs> and let's start with Super Saiyan. Thank you. Lorelei, this product, is it something edible? No. One down, nine to go, Anita. Yeah. Is it something that I would use? Yes. Is it something that uh, is <clears throat> applied? Um, not really. Not really. No. Two down, eight to go, Henry. Uh, this is for, for ladies, right? Um. Mainly, I would say. Mainly, yeah. And I think what, um, I need to meant if I applied is put on yourself, uh, yeah. something right. like that. Um, is it any, in any way something that, um, women wear? No. Three down, seven to go, Arlene. Is it anything in the cosmetic field at all? Yes, I would say. <clears throat> is it, um, does it have any kind of odor? Yes. Um, it therefore is a scent of some kind that is incorporated into some product, is yes. that correct? Is it, uh, would you test something, not test, is it test, is that what, is that what? Okay, research. Research. Uh, something uh, that might have to do with the uh, bubble bath or anything like that? That's it. It's bubble bath. Dynamite. We're going to throw them all over. What the hey, Miss Eaton Cat? Lorelei has been researching consumer reaction to Clairol's brand new clouds of herbal essence. How do you do, or is it herbal essence? How do you herbal say? essence. How do you do it? Well, Clairol maintains a test area called the Forum where we distribute our products to consumers along with a questionnaire. Then we analyze the questionnaire to determine what changes consumers might like to see in the product. Like what do you ask, for example? One of the most important questions to us is whether the consumers recognize the fact that the fragrance in the new Clairol Clouds Verbal Essence Bubble Bath is the same as the fragrance found in Clairol's Herbal Essence Shampoo, which it is. Now, do you ever get into the tub yourself and see how it's working? Sure. Um, one week I was taking about 15 baths to test whether these skin softeners and moisturizers were effective, which they were. And you were so relaxed then you couldn't get out. Couldn't work the next week. Aside from its uh, fragrance, is there anything else that makes clouds of herbal essence distinctive? Well, it's biodegradable and it doesn't leave a bathtub ring. That's what I would love to have. Something that wouldn't leave a bathtub ring. I'll give you some. Will you? Sure. I'll take it. Okay, Thank fine. you for being with Thank us on for What's that. My Life. Okay. Speaking for once in my life. A Marcus and Bill Cotton production. 
This pass is challenged by Bob Lucelli as his program was recorded. Network.